So in the last video, aside for some carburetor issues, this thing blew us away with how well the suspension handled, how well it shifted, the chain stayed tight despite our best efforts to try to knock it loose. Um, so really, this, it was one of the most successful test drives because we know we could fix everything and our chassis didn't have any inherent flaws. So what that means is, now what we need to do is just basically disassemble it, paint it, and put it back together. Paint videos take forever. It's gonna be a ton of work, especially on a frame this big, but we kind of made everything easy to unbolt. We thought about maintenance, so let's just get to work. Hello. Yes, sir. Yeah, buddy. So all the wiring we made unclippable, so it actually wasn't too hard to get all this out. So with this, all the wiring is gone, and we can work on the rear suspension. Not too bad. I mean, we'll wrap it and get the heat shrink and everything on it, but it's pretty organized. Take a sip. Ew. Guys, 50 likes and Dan will drink that. <laughs> we gotta hold you to it, kid. <laughs> and he'll cut his hair, guys. It's a four twenty-four battery So We've cleaned up the frame, we grinded in all the imperfections, we sanded it, we got off as much rust as we could. And then we wiped it down with some acetone, so it's looking really nice now, and it's time to paint it. So we're going with some tractor paint, real tough. This is Massey Ferguson Gray. I think it's going to look really good with our white wheels and our red accents. So let's get to painting this thing. Okay. Oh, that's, that's a nice color. This is some thick paint. It's like Chef Boyardee consistency. <laughs> Does it feel like 415? Kinda. It's like. Oh man, it kind of feels like it's like half dry already. <laughs> hopefully not. Yeah, hopefully not. What else do you have to say then? It's going to be durable. I'm ready to off-road it and not have it chip off like spray paint. Ooh, that is some good coverage. <laughs> that is, this guy's <laughs> one point coat. Guys. <laughs> Fastest paint job yet. So because we're putting on with a brush, it might be have some lines in it, but this paint should be self-leveling and we just prefer the durability on an off-road cart like this over like the smoothness of spray paint. And I think it's gonna look really good. So let's just get it on. All right, as you can see, we painted the entire bottom of the cart and it's looking really nice. It's already a little tacky and by tomorrow it'll be dry and we'll be able to flip it over and paint the top. We just wanted to get the bottom done until we could get all the hard to reach spots and then tomorrow we'll finish it all up. So we let the bottom paint cure overnight and now we're ready to attack this top side. There's a ton of little bars to cover so we're gonna have a lot of time spent into this thing but I think the end result is gonna look awesome. So let's get started.
So right now we're just doing our final touch-ups, getting all the little spots we haven't gotten yet. But it's looking super good, really happy with the results. And then tomorrow we'll be able to pull this thing out in the sun, reassemble it, let it cure, and see what we missed, and then we'll retouch everything up and let it cure. This Massey Ferguson gray tractor paint is super shiny. I don't think we could have picked a better color for this thing. It looks sweet. We also did red D-rings. We got some grip tape for it. We got a ton of little touches on here. We spray painted and tractor painted everything. So this thing's gonna shine. Now let's get to reassembling this thing so we can finally see what it looks like all put together. Sweet. All right, so we just got the motor in. Joe's working on bolting up the shocks on our rear subframe here. Um, but now is kind of the perfect time to do some maintenance on this thing. So we're gonna do a plug change as well as change the oil in her. Um, so we're pulling out these old Champion plugs. They're also, this thing's definitely been running a little bit on the lean side probably, but it's not too bad. They look all right, just look old. Um, so we got some NGK R's to put in there. So we'll plop these in. So we're slowly putting this thing back together. We're about like 35% done. And uh, it's really looking good now. Yeah, it's super sweet. I'm gonna start getting our, uh, you know, our center joint in here, our little jack shaft set up. But the rear engine section's going really nice. The engine actually used to be like the shiniest thing in here, but now it makes it kind of look kinda really dull just cause it's so dirty. But it'll blend in as soon as we get the seats in and stuff like that. But really excited to get the aluminum in. It's gonna look awesome. Wrapped up our exhaust, it's looking real nice. We're just gonna get her in. About to get our DG pipe on it, but I really love the look of this gold exhaust wrap. Woo! That looks nice with the gray. It does. Apart some bushings to make some D ring isolators so these things aren't flopping around. Yeah, but we got the hood, windshield, all that stuff on, roof. It looks really freaking cool, guys. Finally getting the wiring in here. It's mostly wrapped up. I'm just gonna wait till like finalize it and tape and zip tie it until everything's routed. Just make sure everything fits, but. Yeah, the harness looks amazing. Still need to wrap the back though. That's a lot to do. All right, so the wiring is pretty much done. I mean, there's a little bit of cleaning up to do, but everything's pretty good so far. Got the horn, both lights, and straight piped right now. But yeah, everything's working. The brakes work, everything is perfect. So, on to all the rest of the stuff. All right, so here's our little glove box. This will also serve as a nice storage compartment and kind of, I guess, an armrest too, but yeah. It's nice gray, matches everything else, so that'll be useful. Finishing touches territory, guys. Some of the final things, like our awesome rally mirror are going in, but We'll get on, move, start moving on to things like the seats and stuff like that, but we are loving this gray and red color combo. That's nice. I love the way this dash panel looks, guys, too. Yeah. We added it to the symmetrical sections. Good, the little red accents everywhere are just so nice. Woo! All right, as we're coming to a close, we're starting to wrap up with final things, like the seats, and we're gonna get the spare tire in. 
but I'm gonna install this seat and then we're gonna get to basically the reveal montage where we get some awesome clips of this thing. Um, it really looks incredible. So we're finally getting done with this juice, guys. All right, Joe, let's make it happen. Let's finish this thing off. Looks good. Let's put that center cap in there. <laughs> that is so cool with the red. It totally looks like a knockoff. Woo! All right, so we got the interior pretty much tied up and it's looking awesome. Right now it's like 1 a.m. <laughs> We're all like half asleep. And the last thing to do is just put these little pieces of sandpaper for the floor so your shoe doesn't slide off the pedal on. So we're doing that and then we're gonna call it a night. Yeah, this is kind of our last day to work on stuff before going back to college. So a little nice little winter break action. I think it was pretty successful. Now that the paint is done, we can see it in its final form, and it looks amazing. Like, this color really makes this thing pop. Even though it's kind of subtle, it looks really good on this. Makes it look really utilitarian. So, now that it's all done, we got a couple more things to do. Yeah, so we definitely need to tune this thing and make sure all the bolts are tight, make sure everything's working perfectly. And then once we have it tuned and it's running right, we finally rip this thing and really show y'all what it can do and how it works. So thank you to Go Power Sports, thank you DG for the exhaust, thank you Oxbeam for the lights. Check out our Instagram at GoBreakRepeat, make sure to like and subscribe, and see you next time.